Okay, so let's have a look on how to create a little Ethereum or Ethereum Classic miner. It's pretty simple. So you start with a motherboard. I've already connected this motherboard to power supply. Also, I installed 2 GB of main memory, network, HDMI, keyboard, mouse, and an external hard drive. It's a, it's a flash drive, so it's not a mechanical one. An SSD. And the other thing is I have motherboard which uh, which has a directly attached CPU so you cannot remove it and it consumes only six or eight watts which is great because we don't need a CPU at all for mining what we need is a graphic card so this one here is a AMD R X 460 they are not the best one for mining but you cannot buy the RX 480 anymore because all the miners are just going crazy and insane and they have just bought all of those so they are out of stock so what you can do is you can directly put this graphic card into the motherboard like this that's all but then you are stuck with one so this board supports three PCIe slots one 16x and two 1x and for mining a 1x slot is sufficient because you don't need a lot of bandwidth between main memory and GPU so once the DHE is on the memory on the GPU card you don't need any bandwidth anymore therefore a uh, 1x connection is sufficient so there are two options in mounting three GPU cards into this board those are Razer cards that's a very cheap option it's a ribbon cable and I can't really recommend those because they are not shielded therefore you get a lot of interference and eventually your mining program crashes and says oh there was an open CL communication error with your graphic card so get rid of those the better ones are those so as you can see, you get a 16x slot as well. So you can put your GPU card on this 16x slot. I would say this way, like that, and you lock it. And the thing is, you have a shielded USB cable between that part and that part. So this part here goes into either a 16x or a 1x slot. Make sure if you want to use a 16x slot as a 1x slot, some boards need to configure that in the BIOS. So therefore I'm just using the 1x slot here. And another, another cool thing is the power supply now is not only through the cable, it's through an external connection and this goes also to the power supply so let's put this graphic card here and then we attach that to the power supply so that's basically all on this disk I have installed uh, Ubuntu 16 dot 04.2 I think it's the latest LTS version and that's all you need and then you can basically start this thing so what I need to do is I have just to 
short circuit two jumper pins here because I don't have a power switch which is actually not working ah no it works the fan turns of the power supply turns and you see here those turn as well and now Ubuntu should start you don't see that on the screen but I will show you how to install the software part later the only thing what I can really recommend is don't use the open source ETH miner it sucks on this card it gets only around 5 to 10 mega hashes and this card should deliver more and with a claymores miner I get the constant 11.2 mega hashes of course claymores is not open source so you never know what evil software you install on your machine therefore this machine here runs completely isolated in a separate network zone so there's no way this machine con can connect to any of my other machines only one thing so those cards this is the R9270 so I have a couple of more of those I can basically put them all into this miner but I have only one of those risers therefore I have to wait until they will arrive and the thing is they are also out of stock so the only thing is if you have a more powerful card you have to connect an additional power cable to the card and just make sure you have enough of those at your power supply because they are consuming quite a lot of energy those GPU cards yeah that's all for now happy mining and if you have any questions just write me a comment and I will try to answer them.